All right, brothers and sisters, check this out. It's finished. Put the light on this baby here so you can see the definition of it. Uh, as you can see, you've got all the copper around here. All right, and it's going to vibrate. So yes, that copper got it coiled up. Um, these were the downloads that I received for this right here. So some heavy downloads. Got to make sure I separate this copper right here so it won't stick together because I need it to flow freely. All right, I need it to flow, flow freely so that when uh, the sound comes through, you won't have no copper coil stuck to another one because each one of these copper coils is supposed to be able to vibrate at the tune of the binaural beats that we're going to be using or the binaural frequencies that we're going to be using here. All right. And it's okay. This is the outside core right here. You've already seen the inside core, but you got um, crystals all around on the inside. Then you have your orgone right here that's attached. All right. The orgone is important. It's attached. Um, you got your speakers in the back. All right. I've already got the, um, the wires connected to the speakers. I got to get my um, uh, my pad from inside so that I can go ahead and start working on this uh, on the sound right here. But this is the basis of it, and it's hollow on the inside, so when the so that when the sound comes out, it's going to come out these two holes right here. All right, you can see you got pretty much two holes for the sounds to for the sound to come out. So it's going to come out of these two holes right here, and this energy is going to be banging. Class, light, magnitude, 4.8. This energy is going to be extremely heavy um, coming out of it. Let me straighten that up there because I want, like I say, I want the copper coils right here to. See, each of these copper coils are going to be vibrating on their own accord. All right. So whatever frequency is going to come out of there, they're going to vibrate because copper vibrates. All right. Also, in the back here, you can't see it. Maybe you can. I've got magnets attached to the speaker. OK, um, so that they have that magnetic energy in there as well. Um, but mostly it's going to be as copper and crystal and orgone. This is an orgone based uh, unit. And this is designed for the ionosphere. Um, I, I'm going to have to test it um, later on, um, more than likely in the morning or so time. But this is um, my cre this is my creation here. Um, and like I said, I have my, I have my um, what you call it, my frequency generator or frequency oscillator. Frequency oscillator is nothing but a frequency generator. And I have uh, two different frequency generator apps on my um, tablet. So um, I can choose which, which frequency generator app that I would like to use, uh, the binary beats or the other basic frequency generator app. But um, this is, let me see if I can, hold on here, hold on. Okay, I'm going to come back a little bit right here so that you can really get a um, a good view of it here. Very complex, very complex, all right, very complex. And um, it's the vision that I had. And like I say, you know, you guys, you got to have a vision. You know, that's the main thing. We got this crystal right here. And also, these crystals right here, when the sound comes through, these crystals are going to, the crystals are already charged up by the um, copper. Just remember that crystal, when you wrap copper around quartz crystals, that copper already has a charge. All right. And it charges up the quartz crystal. Um, then you add wood to it. All every every piece of this is alive. Every piece of this is live energy. All right. Every piece of this is is extremely live energy. 
All right. So when the sound comes through, um, I'm going to have to get the back of this uh, right here sealed up. I got, I can see a spot right the space in the back. I'm going to get some silicone and seal it up. Um, but when the sound comes through that frequency, um, as it comes out, is going to carry that crystal and that crystal energy, that copper energy, as well as that orgone energy is going to carry out into the atmosphere. And this is something we're going to be, we're going to be talking about. We're going to um, get into the ionosphere a little later. Um, got some a lot of information, shitload of information. I posted some on the YouTube community channel, uh, one by Sister Rachel and the other one by uh, Brother uh, Amjaram. And uh, there's another brother who weighed in on it. And I'm going to share that with you all as well, because uh, the ionosphere is extremely important to the planet. And these inorganic beings know what they're doing. They studied our planet, like we said, why they were, uh, why we were uh, partying and doing whatever. In the 60s, 70s, and 80s, they were studying our planet. And we didn't even realize that they were studying our planet. You know, we didn't realize that, you know, they had created a, a, a safe haven for themselves uh, just to make sure that we didn't understand what they were doing, um, especially in the 80s when Reagan came out and started talking about war on drugs, because I remember that. I mean, I've been into politics ever since I was knee high. You know, I was I mean, I, I still remember um, the paper reading in the paper when uh, it was back in what, 80. What year was that? I think it was back 83, 84. That was a little white boy who. Um, ate McDonald's um, uh, sausage biscuit and he died and they found out that after the autopsy they found out that there was sick kangaroo meat mixed up with the pork and um, of course there was a lawsuit and McDonald's paid out the lawsuit but you know this is this is how far back I go I mean I go all the way back you know as far as I can remember I've been in the politics when everybody in school was talking about wrestling and cartoons I was asking did you hear about this did you watch the the uh, the the the, uh, the the president's address you know that's <laughs> that's what um I was asking them, you know, that's what that's what I was asking them, you know, and they were looking at me like I was all crazy. So you have to understand, you know, um, I was always different than everybody. I'm all, and I'm always different than everybody now. You know, I'm not um, your average whatever, you know, of course, you know, I tried different things, tried gang banging, tried selling drugs, you know, tried doing all these different things and it didn't work for me. But, you know. Because this is where I was supposed to be. Um, so while in the 80s, when Reagan came on TV, on the news, and he did the State of the Union address, and he says, we fighting the war against drugs. And everybody was trying to figure out what drugs. Um, this was the time when they were getting ready to implement the harp system. All right. Um, and that's, that's when. Uh, just just before the 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 war on drugs happened, I mean that's just before the harp system happened. The war on drugs. So what they did was they there was everything was a well planned um, mili strategic military operation. All right, and then uh, no one saw the. Uh, the things that were happening, no one saw, you know, and there was actually there was very few of us who actually saw it. You know, there was very few brothers and sisters who were watching and into science or whatever. But, you know, their voice wasn't heard because, you know, they were trying to figure out what's going on. And then the drugs came out and they started dropping drugs in the neighborhood and start offering it to the children and, you know, start offering it to the adults, the older folk or whatever. And then all of a sudden, our uh, brothers and sisters got caught up in the drug epidemic. And as soon as we uh, back in 87, as soon as we got caught up in this drug epidemic, that's when uh, they went ahead and implemented that uh, HARP program. And, you know, they had already, like we said, in the 60s and the 70s, they were already studying. So you got to understand the whole thing of the Martin Luther King thing, you know, 
It was a, it was a, everything was a diversion. It's what everything was. Everything was literally a diversion to keep us from, um, being in tune because, you know, they needed to make sure that none of us were in tuned. All right. Because somebody, some, one of us would have found out, you know, what happened. All right. Let me see if I still got time on here. Yeah, I do. Uh, so they would have found so one of us would have found out what had happened. So they made sure that um, that that was a diversion. All right. So the ionosphere is ex- extremely important. All right. Because um, well, we're going to go into it. We, we're going to go into the. Um, moderate depth to 60 kilometers 16 minutes ago, we're gonna go into the ionosphere and you know, I'm gonna read off some things that was on the YouTube community channel. Then, as a, as a brother who sent some information to me, and you know, we're really concerned because this is our planet and we have awakened and we gotta, you know, we 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 are here, it's us, it's up to us to save our planet, all right? So all you brothers and sisters all over the world, we need you guys to join in, to tune in. If you're not tuned in, try to get tuned in. All right. Because everything this so-called white man does is designed to destroy nature and the planet. And that's I mean, that's just the way it is. And this is no racist statement. It is what it is. All right. Digging up the oil of the other of the, of the, of the planet. That's the blood of the planet. All right. Taking all the shrimp and the and the lobster out of the ocean, you know they are the cleaners of the ocean. I mean, we talked about that. We're not we're not even supposed to be touching the fish, you know. The fish of the of, of the sea was designed for the sea, not designed for us. So many of us don't understand, you know. So many of us don't understand, and we follow the ways of our enemies, eating meat and and all this other different stuff. And we're supposed to be eating everything that that's supposed to go in our body is plant based. So our enemies have cause us to fall back and everything that they do is a strategic military operation. All right. Congress is part of this military. Everything is military. All right. So just uh, pass that on to y'all um, and wanted to share this uh, this uh, piece of tool right here. Um, I forgot what I called it, but, you know, it doesn't matter. I got to make a stand for it so that it can um, it can um, point upward into the air um, I've got to make an angle. So, you know me, I'm a, uh, I'm a carpenter and that's what I do. I, I'll, I'll get, I'll get it all together and, and, um, and, and get it pieced up and it will be ready to go very soon. But, uh, uh, a little later I'll, um, add some tunes to it. And so, um, so you all get a, get a visual and then you're going to feel the energy from it. All right. You're literally going to feel the energy, you know, because this whole YouTube thing here, everything you got to remember, you know, it's a portal. Yeah, that's all it is, is a freaking portal. So, um, um, yeah, just wanted to share that with you all. Yeah, but but, the, you know, the, the whole time that we were marching and protesting, we shall overcome, you know, Martin Luther King. They were studying our planet and they were making plans, you know. Then came the then came the seventies and you know the funk era and everybody was dancing and whatever whatever and they was giving everybody record deals and and I mean we were getting high and I mean it was crazy it, that was another thing another diversion they had to make sure that we didn't see and like we said it came the eighties you know they they pushed it out there came the nineties we started going to college we wanted to go to college and we wanted to be a part of the system so they was like okay yeah be a part of the system and we didn't understand a lot of us didn't understand that we were being a part of the system that was destroying the planet we thought we was just you know being scientists and all we didn't even understand that that we 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 played a part in destroying our own home you know that these beings don't give a damn about i'm serious they don't care they don't care nothing about the planet you know, they don't care nothing about us. The only thing they want to do is scientific experiments and until you can't do any more science and until everything is completely dead. They don't care. You know, so it's this the whole point, brothers and sisters, are we um awakening and taking back what belongs to us. But later on we're gonna go into um uh, the ionosphere. We're going to go deep into it. All right. We're going to go deep into it. We're going to have a really, really good lesson on the ionosphere and um, some some other information. And we are going to really, really tap into this right here. All right. So I'll catch you guys a little later. All right. But just want to show y'all uh, this right here. 
that um, I finished up, and it's a beautiful piece. And um, we're gonna make this thing happen. All right, y'all get ready to build. You know, I'm, I always encourage you guys to build. All right, this is leftover wood that I have in here. And so I mean, I have so much wood. I have so much wood. You know, I got so many tools. You know, I got stuff all in here that that I can use, and I can pretty much create anything. I'm thinking about building a wooden car. Seriously, I am. Um, so, um, catch you guys a little later. You know the deal. All power to the multi shark celestial and jelly beans. May chaos ring with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos brings change, not peace. All right, much power to you all.